Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your reading. This is Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's find out. Messages for Virgo. Yes, true love, friendship, denial. They realize they love you after they lost you. Now feeling very regretful. And um, they want to be friends first and take it slow to build a solid foundation. Uh, being in denial over the relationship ending is prolonging your suffering. Time to let go. For some of you, it could be that you are stuck in a situation right now yeah, where you may feel like there's no more love, there's no more um, commitment or loyalty. Um, but maybe you're just um, dumping it you know, at the back of your mind and um, instead of phasing the situation, you would rather kind of forget about it, get distracted by something else. Yeah, and that's a form of denial too. Right, so if you prolong anything that is meant to end, um, it's not gonna do you any good. Yeah, physically and uh, mentally, it could, or even emotionally, it could um, impact you. Now, that's another message. I feel it's it's totally a little bit different. Yeah, so um, in terms of love, it looks like somebody is regretful. Yeah, after you probably have turned your back or. Um, have not given in, you have not given into their games or into their um, lack of action. Yeah, it looks like um, somebody now is um, feeling very regretful. Yeah, because they realize they love you after they have lost you. Um, if you experience some slowness in, in your progress, right, in relationship, in getting to know somebody or in being with someone, building your life with each other. Um, if you feel that it's taking slow, you know, the somebody is not professing their love or not um, proposing, for example, it looks like this person is taking some time, yeah, uh, because th they're taking some time to get to know you more. Yeah, they they would rather take it slow and um, um, you know slow and easy wins the race. Yeah, yeah. they rather take it slow and um, in each step they would rather be more comfortable in each step that they take. Yeah, so that that's also a key in building that solid foundation in a relationship. Right, anything that when you first meet each other there is this rush of feelings or the butterflies in your stomach these are just uh, more of attraction right but this doesn't mean that you will easily if you feel this uh, as, as fast as possible it doesn't mean that that could lead to a solid type of connection right so it takes more than that it takes more of getting to know each other it takes more of um, being more vulnerable towards each other opening up yeah, but let's see. Let's check your tarot for Virgo. First card out. Yeah, definitely. Somebody or this could even be you. Yeah, somebody is taking... It, it looks like you know what you want or you know what you can offer towards somebody, but you're not really making a move right now uh, just because uh, probably the coast is not too clear just yet. So you want more clarity. You want more confirmation that this person is worth the effort that you're willing to do. Yeah. And I see that this person is uh, is kind of doing well in their life. Yeah. Could be abundant. Could be um, prosperous. You know, doing well in their job. Um, making more money. Or somebody who is expanding their investments. You know. And somebody, too, who wants to love, who has a lot of love to offer, who has a lot of, um, you know, somebody who's willing to, to open up to someone, to be seen. That's what I see. This person wants to be seen, wants to be um, open towards someone. It could be towards you. And so that you can get to know them more. And they can be more vulnerable towards you. They can open up. Yeah, And they want to know 
Yeah, this person wants to know that if you know their entirety of their personality, what would you do? Would you still accept them? Would you still love them? You know, that, that sort of thing. I feel like this is a person who's open for, you know, open for getting into a relationship once they know it is something that can be good for both parties. So it must be a, re a connection they would have with someone or with you that they know it's going to progress better. Yeah. Let's see. But for now, this person may not be talking as much to you, right? I feel like you're not getting a lot from this person right now. This could even be someone that you have already cut off, Virgo, or you have learned to kind of forget about them. Because, um, yeah, I feel like you have cut off this person and you have stopped putting um, effort into it. In, or you stop feeding this, this situation. And um, things have ended for both of you. But it looks like there may have been a change. Yeah, because death can also represent transformation. So whatever this person may have, may be in the past, yeah, they could, they could have been mes messaging you, or just uh, wanting to have fun with you. You know, just thinking about or fantasizing what life could it be with Virgo. They were at that stage in the past, but now this is a person who's willing to have more with you. After some ending or separation, this could be the true love that is being spoken about here. When they realize they love you after they lost you. Now they're feeling regretful. Now they know that they can expand. They can be more abundant. They can be more happy. They can even be a better person with you. Yeah, It's a transformed effect. Transformed feeling. Um, and they've been thinking about this. I see that they have been thinking about you. They've been thinking about... Um, getting back together with you, reconnecting if you haven't been connecting for a while. So they want to reconnect. Two of cups, you know, getting to be um, on the same page with you, you know, wanting to have that conversation so that both of you can really look each other eye to eye and, and decide where you're at and whether you want to move forward together. But it looks like this person's feelings is around that you know they want more with you yeah, they've been thinking about this they've been contemplating um at some point i see that um, this person may have been a little bit stubborn they could have ignored you they could have um, dispatched you for some time yeah because it looks like they probably have pursued other interests or they did not spend more time with you that may have caused the um the death scenario here in the past and you also cut them off so it looks like there was really that separation and they took some time to really do some introspection yeah checking within how do they truly feel about their current situation with you how did they feel when they were with you and um, they start to compare that they start to compare that now. The outcome, we have the lovers and the ace of wands. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of swords. So initially, there could have been mind games here. Somebody was trying to, to win over the other or win the other um, by, I don't know, uh, push and pull effect, um, inconsistency, wanting to be chased, you know, that, that sort of thing. But it looks like when you felt that, when you realized that the other person wasn't really consistent, even if you were still interested with that person, you probably have walked away. So this was the underlying energy. Somebody has walked away, has stepped back, has turned their back, right? But now the outcome that we're seeing after some contemplation, and this person now is uh, feeling regretful of what they've done, or what has happened back then, why they didn't take you seriously, it looks like um, the lovers. There is a deeper type of connection here than just physical connection. Yeah. 
you are both attracted to each other. That's obvious. We have the Ace of Wands here. This is very fiery. Perhaps this is a situation where the first time you meet each other, you locked eyes and, um, you know, there was a spark from the get-go. Yeah, but you had to go all this route. <laughs> you had to get them to realize, you know, that they love you after they lost you. So after that death, they, you both kind of went on your separate ways. But look at that. It's a deep connection. It's a new... It's This would be budding from... The two of cups yeah. after some time off for some of you four months four weeks or even four years for some and during those times when you were away from each other or you're not connecting it's pretty obvious that either them or you have been checking each other keeping tabs of each other you're still looking looking back oh how is he how is she how is virgo yeah Perhaps Virgo has a new love, you know, that sort of thing. But I feel like this person wants to have that new start with you. And this time, the start needs to be with um, more than just a physical connection. This person wants to really get to know you more. And they also want to be open, vulnerable towards you. They want you to see them as they are yeah, and, and still love them anyway. There's somebody here who's going to be reaching out or taking that step forward that's reflected by the Ace of Wands initiative. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.